You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moods? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly made friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. Every despot starts somewhere. And yet I allow an abomination to whine at me. Credit where it's due. Your grandparents would be so proud of you. When I was a girl, the Amels were one of our most prominent families. I'm glad to have one of their line in the estate again. How can I help you? You knew my grandparents. I dedicated your mother into the Chantry. She was a beautiful baby. Your grandmother was a very proper lady, but she was beside herself that day. And your mother put a fist in my eye. How long have you been Grand Cleric? I became a lay sister here when I was only a girl. My parents died of fever, and I was taken in by the Chantry. Eventually, I took my vows. After I had served for some time, the revered mothers agreed that I should travel to Orlay. The Divine herself appointed me Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. That was near 30 years ago. What is the Chantry's stance on the Kunari presence here? Would it help anything for us to get involved? Or is it more likely to like the Kindling? If the Kunari act against us, the Templars will defend Kirkwall. Otherwise, we guard ourselves best by waiting. Are you intending to stay neutral about the Kunari and mages forever? The Maker's time is not men's time. We do not need to rush. The Chantry is not a domineering father with the whip always in hand. She is a gentle mother who knows her children learn best when allowed to learn themselves. A demon behind the attack on Sebastian's family. Truly, whatever has happened in Kirkwall has thinned the veil. I must pray to Andraste for guidance. The Maker would not set me a challenge greater than I can manage. Desperately trying to stay away. But the giggling and the perfume and those revealing dresses.
I have 14 different reports to rewrite by the end of the day. Please, I need some time. So, I never expected to be palling around with the captain of the guard. We're not pals. We're not? What about that time we painted each other's toenails? Do you want something? Love, life, and liberty. What more does a man need? You're in a jolly mood. Well, when you're here, I know you're not leading men into Darktown to arrest me. You're the captain of the guard. You have my thanks for keeping us safe, dear girl. You're quite welcome. <laughs>